Hey, it's your boy Chago coming at you with another video. This one is Chris DeStefano's Traumatic Night Out Two Bears One Cave Highlight. Ah, I'm excited. Let's get right into it. Um, another thing I had to bring up because uh, you talked, it would be you know it would be hilarious if you killed yourself later today. Yeah, um, it's possible. But um, that you, this was again on Instagram. I watched the whole thing. <laughs> you talked about. You witnessed an attempted suey wooey off of like two guys. This is real. Dude, the suey wooey, which <laughs> what we call suey wooey. Make it fun in my house, um, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Let me, <laughs> dude. Was this in your building? This was in my friend's building. So I had two friends, two friends, Frank and Johnny. Frank's a great comic back home, and listen, gay guys, they have a good time. Yes. Well, everybody knows, like gay guys, they have fun. They're doing meth. They, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know, like no, yeah. they do like that thing. Like the gay guys, if you go out with a group of gay guys, it's they, a good time. They really hit it hard, and it's a beautiful. It really, it's like a beautiful thing, right? They when just, Bert and I one time went out. When we were this is like more than twelve years ago. We were working out at this place in West Hollywood, and our like instructor was gay. Yeah, and we and he was great. And one night he was like, "You guys want to come out?" And we went out with him in West yeah. Hollywood to like all the the huge gay bars, and it was it was a blast. It yeah. was super fun. Yeah, no, I swear to Christ, I went up, I went out one night with TT Jerry, just Jerry and I, and Jerry was like, "Let's have some fun." You know, I told Jerry I'd take him out on night in town, and I went out with a gay transgender man, and I woke up in the backyard, uh, full backyard, sleeping on at the bottom of my kid's slide. I had no idea how I got there. I just woke Holy up because we just went crazy. And he's probably spiked my drink and whatever. Whatever it is, we had a good time. But I what? Let me tell you about Frank and Johnny. Okay? Real story. This I you know I put it out there, and what I'm about to tell you is true. This I, is true. This is not fabricated for the stage. This okay. is. I sat there and I witnessed it, and I genuinely, I swear to God, I was like, uh, Did I die? Am I on ayahuasca? <laughs> what just happened? So, we're. You know, after shows, it's two o'clock in the morning. It's New York City. My friend Frank goes, "You want to come over back to our place? You know, keep, keep drinking, whatever." This was at a time when me and Jasmine were co-parenting, so we weren't together at, at 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 that time. So I didn't I didn't have to be home. My kids were. My daughter just had one kid at that time was with her mom. I was just going to go back and you know sit and jerk off in my apartment anyway. Yeah. So I was like, might as well go hang out with these gay guys. Yeah. So and get jerked off. So, <laughs> so I said. I said, all right, I'll go. So we're going. We're in the cab going. And I could, they're pretty hammered, right? Yeah. And I'm like, whatever. It's just fun. And I'm buzzed, too. Do they try to turn you at any point? Never. Never, never not once. Truly, truly never. Fr Frank Frank told me that he knows for sure I'm not gay, yeah. even though I would ask him, like, I feel like I could be gay. He was like, no, you're not gay. He's like, because, I, you know, you play around. You, you want to suck dick, whatever, as long as it's in my fasting window, like whatever jokes yeah. you do. Yeah. He said, but, but then you also have body dysmorphia. Like, you also are like, you know, like, you're a little bit like... um. He was like, you know, like you're like this bigger guy, but like you think that like you're you're not, and blah blah blah, and you know, you know like like you, you you're like embarrassed about like your nipples and all that. He said, gay guys wouldn't do that. Gay guys are like proud to be gay, proud of their bodies. He was uh -huh. like, it's straight guys that you're a little bit like. That's a hundred. That that I, okay. I just learned that I'm straight. Yeah, because I'm the same way. And it kind of it kind of clicked because I was like, because because you would think it's the opposite. But he yeah. said, no, gay guys are like, you know, how many gay they'll take their shirt off, you know, Sam Smith, right. whatever. Because gay is just like sex, body positivity. Yeah. Straight guys are like, no, my nipples. Yeah, I don't feel them. So what are you saying is gay people aren't self-conscious? I call bullshit on that. Is that is that's the only deciding factor in your self-conscious? You can, you can have a dick in your mouth, but if you're self-conscious, you're not gay. <laughs> I call bullshit on that. But anyways, let's carry on. Proud about how yeah, I yeah. I, I'm, you're very insecure. So, so I was like, okay. So <laughs> we're going. They're drinking, and then Frank and and because I went to their house a couple of times uh, over the years for their Super Bowl party. They always throw a good Super Bowl party, and Frank makes this like really good ranch dip. Yeah. It's like homemade I like ranch, ranch dip. dip. Who knows what's in it? I know you guys are like probably come, yeah. maybe. Yeah. It, if it is, it is. It's good. It's still delicious. <laughs> delicious. And I said, you know, buzzed. I wasn't intermittent fasting back then, so I was just fucking a free-for-all with Housing eating. Free-for-all. Yeah. So I, he said, I'll make the ranch dip. I was like, I'm in. Let's go. So go having a good time. And Frank and Johnny were arguing a little bit. They were just, they had a little bit like, 
Is what? Johnny out with you to begin or just when you get home? Johnny's with us the whole time. Okay. Johnny's Frank's partner, but yeah. he's not a comic. And Johnny is more flamboyantly gay. You're right. Like Johnny is like ho- like 100% like Nadav gay. Yeah. Like gay, Super gay, gay. gay. Like gay. you know yeah. it as soon as you see it. You were like, that guy's going to come dripping out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so, so high level gay. You we're just set him back. High level gay. Just yeah. Out of yeah. Where Frank, you would never know Frank was gay. Like Frank is like, like no clue like he's like oh shit you're gay I've no, okay. no idea until he we were friends for like two three years and he's like oh this is my my partner Johnny yeah. I was like what what your business what partner? the hell yeah like, I thought <laughs> I your I, business that's partner? why you always like fucking rub my leg on the road and shit yeah. like just slowly <laughs> massage my balls I thought it was because we were boys and you said you were like into you know healing so I um so we go so we get to their apartment by the way beautiful apartment they have they, they, they always Johnny, have the best uh, decor Beautiful decor, but then his partner does very well, like, you know, restaurateur kind of guy. Very well, good stuff, and beautiful, beautiful layout, gorgeous, you know, like you said, great, great pillows. Gay's yeah. always good with pillows. And good with pillows. so we go. Frank starts making the dip, having a good time. And, and like Johnny's like, you know, again, he's, he's getting, he's, he's just mad. He's like, you know, whatever, Frank, like you hear shit like that in the yeah. kitchen. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. drama. So Frank brings out the dip, and I mean, this is like a hell of a batch. Like yeah. he, he had, you know, toasted warm pita, the ranch dip. He gave me like a like a like a Bud Light seltzer. And you've been drinking already. I've been drinking already. So we're eating this dip, and it's so good. It's like it's like warm. The bread's warm. I'm like, this is literally heaven. Like, yeah. give me a bite. Yeah. Put it in my mouth. I want it in my mouth for the rest of the night. <laughs> like I'm just I'm ready to go. Yeah. And so it was awesome. And they then the arguing picks up a bit because again it's just like imagine like you know you're drunk with your wife like you start and there's pro it's yeah. the same shit but now it's two guys yeah so it's like it gets it gets the octane goes up in a gay fight very quickly I did not know that yeah because it's two men fighting at the end of the day big egos all that so Johnny says to Frank you know they're mumbling shit and then Johnny out of nowhere she goes says to Frank she goes Johnny goes I know you're cheating on me motherfucker. Like that, motherfucker. <laughs> and then Frank's like, shut up, Johnny. No, I'm not. He goes, I have the proof. I know you're cheating on me, motherfucker. I have the proof. He's like, see it. I was like, oh my God. I was like, listen. Are you just watching this? I'm like- just watching this. And I'm saying to myself, I've been you know, I'm in a relationship with a Puerto Rican girl for close to 10 years. They have the proof. So you, if they're saying you need to cop to it now, that the only way... Is to Out. say I fucked up. Yeah, yeah. It was, I fucked up. I was in Tuscaloosa. There was nothing to do, and I and I ate some farmer's ass. I'm sorry. So, so it happens. Uh, you know, just own up to it. You know, they'll go to bed, and if you keep lying, this is where it gets bad. Yeah. And then Frank goes, "No, I didn't." And Johnny goes, "I have the text. Do you want me to read them?" And then Frank, I guess, makes this split decision to say, "I'm caught. I'm fully caught. Chris is here." Yeah. There's no way out of this unless I just drop a nuke. Yeah. And I guess that's what his split second decision sure. was. And again, what am I going to do? Keep in mind, we're on the 38th floor of a beautiful, like, luxury Manhattan building. They have the door open, the balcony out there, you know. Sure. Beautiful. It, options are cop to it or drop a bomb. Drop a, that's it. That's the only yeah. options right here. So Frank decides, option two, I'll drop a bomb. And Frank says to him, I swear to God, I'm eating the, I'm like watching this. I'm eating the ranch. I'm sucking it off the pita. It's great. Dude, I literally was amazing. So Frank says, you know what, Johnny? I am cheating on you. And guess what? I also gave you AIDS. So that, that was the first time all night that I stopped eating. (laughs) Because I said, Whoa, wait, hold on, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I did not know Fuck. that anybody here had AIDS. <laughs> Supportive of whatever you guys need from me. I want to just, Frank, did you wash your hands before you started making the <laughs> you were slicing up limes? Were there any small cuts? Like, I can't, sw- I don't know if yeah. AIDS gets killed in the gastrointestinal system. Like, I can't necessarily come home with AIDS because Jazz is not going to believe that I got it from you. She's yeah. going to think that I got it from that girl in Tuscaloosa. Yeah. So, so, so he goes, so I'm like stunned, right? The whole thing changes. Now, obviously, that's a moment. That's a moment. It's three o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, am I drunk? Are we on drugs? What's happening? So then Johnny goes, that's real fucking nice, Frank. 
real great motherfucker. You gave me AIDS? <laughs> And then I was like, what is my night right now? People are screaming, you gave me AIDS. I, I, I don't know what's happening, okay? So a couple of moments go by, oh and Johnny God. just starts pacing. Just starts pacing, and then Frank is just kind of like looking at him. looking. Like I saw a part of Frank, like Frank turned into a guy, like a real guy. Like what, motherfucker? Like you want to fight me about it? Like it wasn't like a dainty yeah. gay man. It was like something came over, like I'm fucking locked in on you now, like say something stupid so i'm thinking they're going to get into like an actual fist fight and so i'm kind of standing up you know wanted to protect my friends i know it's dry i was going to say like frank let's get out of here like stay with me whatever like i i'm like going to witness like a real domestic dispute here so johnny with that says you know what frank chris this is great what a great night what a great night we've all had <laughs> Because of you, Frank, great night that we've all had. He goes, I bid you both a farewell. Walks towards the balcony, steps up onto the balcony on the 30th floor, jumps off. J I, hand to God, jumps off. Frozen in time. I'm Elsa, frozen. I literally don't know what to do. Frank doesn't know what to do. You guys are both standing there. Panicked. Like, when something like that happens, yeah. when someone, you witness a suey wooey, yes. when, that, <laughs> when that happens, there's no, there's no playbook. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can say. It just, you're frozen. So it felt like a lifetime. Like, truly, like, uh, just standing there in panic. It must have been an actual time two seconds less because all of a sudden you hear fuck i think i broke my legs i we run over he landed on the 36th floor because what happened was is they had a short balcony the 36th floor they this guy had like a jumbo apartment it sticks out. balcony stuck out like he had like a thousand square foot balcony so he landed there so I run over and I see him. I see him like laying like, like his leg is bleeding. Like he has a compound fracture. Bone stuck through the leg. Like literally, he, he had a Tom Segura fracture. Shit. So he literally, <laughs> bone out, bleeding out of the leg. So it's like crazy. So the man from the 36th floor heard a loud thud, turns on the light and runs out. Like runs out to see. I, I don't know if they knew each other, but like runs out to see. And again, because just all in the moment, I swear to God, I yelled down from the 38th floor. I said, be careful, he has AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch his leg, it's bleeding. <laughs> so, so, and so Frank runs down, right? I call 911. Because I have to. I, well, I, yeah. I have to. This I, is one of those moments. I have to. I, I felt like a bit of a rat, like ratting on my friends, but it wasn't even that. I was like, I need to get this guy assistance. I need to, I can't be caught in all this. Like, nobody should even know that I'm here. I'm going to anonymously call 911 and leave. So I call 911, tell them the address would ever come. With that, Frank comes running back up the stairs. He goes, Johnny's down there. He's like in a lot of pain. He goes, I got I to gotta look for like a tourniquet or something. I was like, all right, Frank, I call 911. They're on the way. I, you know, I'm going to go. He goes, oh, you can't leave. You ha I, can't, I need you, Chris. Please. He's like, I need you. I need you. I need you here for like support. I need you. I was like, all right, well, like, what do you want me to do? He's like, just help me find something for like a tourniquet. And this is New York City, like whatever it was, maybe three, four years ago. This is when the cops would come. This is like, you know, yeah. this before Bill de Blasio ruined our city. Yeah. This is when the cops would show up. So... They must have been on a call, like maybe like even in the building, because dude, they showed up. EMTs showed up to the 38th floor, maybe within 90 seconds. Really? Okay. <laughs> now, now this shit. is where it gets unbelievable, but this is where it's as true as true can be. 90 seconds. And this is I I I this is a 100 percent true fact. I couldn't believe when this was happening. I was like, am I? In, I thought I was in a sketch. At this point, I thought maybe, maybe I did get SNL. Yeah, maybe yeah. I did get it, and I've I just forgot. Yeah. So, you know, police, uh, EMTs ring the bell. You know, here nine one one. I op again. I don't. I want to be anonymous here. I'm. I'm in an apartment at three thirty in the morning with two gay men. I don't. This is not a good look. You yeah. know, support yeah. the gay community, but it's like yeah. I don't need this. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I open the door to let the EMT in. 
It's my first cousin, Mark. On my father's side. Your first cousin. My father's brother's son, Mark. My first cousin, Primo. First blood relative who is an EMT in New York City. He's the one that shows up to the call. I don't want anyone to know <laughs> I'm there. This is my first cousin who I've known my whole life. Was at his birthday party six months before. My dad, he, he opens the door and I opened the door and I was like, Mark? He was like, Chris? And he sees Frank sweating, you know, like just dripping in sweat. He hears his queen husband 20 feet below screaming that his leg's broken. I have ranch dip, which looks like cum all over my lips. <laughs> and I swear to Christ, Mark's, I swear to Christ. The, the first thing he said to me, he goes, I'm not going to tell your father. And I was like, yeah, but it's not what you think it is. He was like, all Whatever. this is safe with me. Yeah. We're here on a medical. This is business. This is a medical <laughs> call. Take me to the victim. You do whatever you want to do yeah. in your off time. Yeah. 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 Dude, he goes, this is, I got, it's patient confidentiality. Your father will never know. I was like, dude, I'm not gay. I'm here. They're my friends. <laughs> yeah, and, then, sure. and then he goes, whatever, dude, just take, get me to the, I need to help the guy. So we go down there, help. I go down there with them to the ambulance, whatever. They're loading him into the ambulance, you know, big air cast on his leg, fucking stretcher. As they're loading, um, as they're loading Johnny in, you know, I'm there with Frank. I'm not going to go with him to the hospital, but I'm, I'm there. Frank says to Johnny, he goes, honey, you know, I was kidding. I don't have AIDS. And then Johnny goes, I know. She goes, I know. We got excited. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. what do you mean you know? I said, Frank's like, sometimes we get crazy when we fight. I was like, he just did a backflip <laughs> off the Manhattan high rise. <laughs> what are you talking about? He goes, this is how we get. We just get crazy. This is like a normal fight. So then I find out that he's, for fun, jumped from the 38th to the 36th floor multiple times. What? Some are, like They've done that. Multi they do meth. That's what they do. Multiple times when that man hasn't been home, they've jumped down, then went, you know, gotten back up. Like, they've done that. I, do I bid you both farewell. I bid you both a farewell. So they, he knew that I did not know that, but he knew. And the thing is with, like, a gay fight like that is that happens, like, crazy level of fighting. Yeah. They were in Turks and Caicos a week later, rehabbing his leg. Two weeks later, they're in Turks. Like, nothing ever happened. When meanwhile, you know, like with Jazzy, you know, Puerto Rican girl, it's like, I remember one time I accidentally, accidentally liked one of her sister's bathing suit pics on Instagram, and I woke up with a knife in my sternum. Seriously? Yeah, she was not fucking around. You had like, scrolled and hit it? Yeah, I hit it. It was a full accident. You ever scroll and hit follow and go, I don't want to follow, and then hit unfollow? Yeah, and then it looks and even then, worse. Wait, and then the person, uh, I've had a person notice. Yeah. They go, did, did you just follow me and yeah. unfollow me? And yeah. I'm like, yeah, I, did, I was just a thumb thing. I didn't yeah. really want to follow I you. I didn't really. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, um, I, I have. And, 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 and so that literally, that story, because people, you know, I've told that on stage. I, I think I put it in a special or online or something. I've had it too where I'll accidentally front request someone. And I didn't mean to. Like, honestly, I did not mean to. And it just so happens to be like, someone i know so now it's awkward because then like i have <laughs> i had it once where i i accidentally added a friend right and then me i realized what i did so i un like i undid it but then like five minutes later they sent me a friend request and i'm like oh god and i felt like such a douche and i felt bad so i just accepted it but i didn't really want to be friends with this fuck <laughs> So now, like, fucking three years have gone by, or however long it's been, and now we're friends because I made a mistake. Fucking comment down below if you had some weird, awkward shit happen. Now I, like, we'll probably be friends on Facebook to the day I die because I accidentally added someone. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's carry on. And uh, oh no, I put it on my album, uh, Chrissy New York Comedy Club, which is out now. And um, and um, oh my God. I uh, and people like that didn't happen. And I'm telling you, Tom, it happened. That's one of the craziest all stories. Mark, it, all up to Mark, it happened. Bert, I'm Tom, Tom and Bert. Holy shit, was that a story? Oh my God, I didn't know gay people got down like that. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I am as straight as it gets, right? And uh, I went to this chick's uh, birthday party, and she happened to be, I mean, she's a lesbian, so, like, 
and I got invited to it. So I went to a gay bar. And I had a good time. All things aside, I had a good time. Uh, there was this, so we had this big table. There's probably like 10 to 15 of us, fucking big table, right? And there was this, uh, I mean, everybody there was gay, right? So fucking, th there was a table near us. And there was some guy we didn't even know buying those rounds. Like, dude was a baller. I don't know. He was like, hey, buy them drinks. And, like, we didn't even know the guy. I didn't fucking, <laughs> fucking buy everybody drinks and shit. Like, that was nice, you know? Um, but yeah, it was a good time. It was, it was, uh, it was definitely a good time. Um, you know, it's just a couple times I went to the bar by myself to ask for drinks and I could just see the eyeballs, right? Like, <laughs> I felt a little awkward, like, um, but, uh, like I said, it was an experience. Would I do it again? Probably, to be honest, I would just, <laughs> I'd have to make sure I brought my wife with me because that just... Some weird shit, man. But um, but God, this story's crazy, right? Like the fucking, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I didn't know gay people got down like that. Like, is that a normal thing? Where I mean, I get jumping off a balcony. That can't be normal, right? <laughs> but having crazy explosive arguments. Fuck that shit. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, gay or straight, I don't think that's a, that's healthy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, if you enjoyed this as much as I did, go ahead and hit me up with some likes, man. Let me know that you enjoyed this shit, because I fucking did. This is fucking crazy. Um, and then if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. This is madness. And I'm going to continue to find crazy stories like this. So if you're not subscribed and you don't hit that notification bell, you're definitely going to miss out. So go ahead and subscribe. Anyways, that's all I got. You guys take care. Peace out.